Bring me back TT. I need TT. Alphabet City. That's where all the amazing writers and talented people are. Hey. Hey. Jess, please. Hey, Sam, it's me. Can we talk? Jess, I have writer's block. So do I. But I'm not punishing but you for just... it. Can we talk about this when I get back? You shouldn't be trying to get a job as a reporter anyway. I mean, you're a fiction writer. You should be working on your book. You got a lousy work ethic and a toxic relationship, and you drink too much. So did Kerouac and Hemingway and Fitzgerald. You want to stray? Whatever heat you had coming off of your first book is long gone. A year ago, you could have had a story published anywhere. Scribner's called. They're threatening to take back their advance. Did you hold them off? They want to see pages. It all comes down to, do you want a career, or do you want to be a one-hit wonder? Jughead! Oh my god! Poor Jughead! Whoa, 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 what's going on? I'm gonna go stay with Haley until I find my own place. Why? This isn't working anymore. Ew, Wait, when? Ew, is Today. There, like, uh, After I hate you blew guys me off to meet with your agent. Mustaches. Okay, just, just please wait. Don't, don't, don't do this right now. I'll Good luck with so your book. Creepy with that it's the only thing you care about that. anyway. Excuse me. I'll replace this her as you, Jess This is you, isn't it? Forsyth Pendleton Jones III. My friends just call me Jughead. Cora. Obviously an homage to The Outsiders the by S.E. Hinton. And the love story between the Viper leader and the homecoming queen. That's him and Betty. That's him and Betty. It's a very sexy book, your friend. Where'd you get that? In one of your drawers. Is that okay? Yeah, no, it's not a big deal. Uh, there's coffee, bro. See, now I don't like you either. You don't get to yeah, wear I remember that shirt. That. New York Magazine, right? I've read the article like a hundred times. It's how I knew that bar last night. She's like obsessed what? with him. Okay, so I really am She's a fan a of your book, honestly. It's only 342 pages, and if you like it, maybe you could give it to your agent. Uh, okay, hold on. Debt collectors. Where are they? Debt collectors. Are they gonna hurt you? Read your book, I swear. Could you, uh, just do me a favor? I'm apartment sitting for him. You got a job writing for a TV show in LA? Just left this morning. Can I give him a message? Um, thank you. No problem. If I don't hear from you, I know exactly who I'm gonna call. I knew I didn't like her from the second she put that shirt on. I bet you he's gonna read it and it's actually gonna be like really, really good and he's gonna try to steal it. I can't see Jughead doing something like that, but this Jughead, this is a weird Jughead that we don't typically see. This Jughead, I could see it happening. Lacey's, Macy's, Silence of the Lambs reference for Betty, The Rules of Distraction. There's a movie called The Rules of Attraction, a book also. I like these little tie-in throwbacks that they're doing for each character. Wow. Lots of catching up to do. You're looking at the new Mrs. Burble. Wait, you're working at Riverdale High too, Kev? Uh, yep, I'm the drama teacher. Graduated from the University of Pittsburgh. Okay. You live together here. Yeah. With me. We decided to revive the serpents under my leadership. I was crowned the Serpent Queen. Serpents drive trucks to make cash, including me and Fangs. Tony had the hookup. Impressive. As you know, after graduation, Cheryl and I broke up. R.I.P. Shoney. After I got back from Highsmith, I went thought we could talk. I'm afraid now isn't a good time. Perhaps another day? Uh, what? Sure. What the is wrong with you? You don't even contact her? Cheryl, are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. Do I appear to be otherwise? What are you doing, Cheryl? What the hell and are you doing? did you go back? I did. Hiram Lodge was there with his new right-hand man. Sell you my maple groves, you Bulgarian. Nana and I plan to be buried amongst those trees. We can make that happen. He comes by every other week offering to buy my maple groves. But I'm really glad to see you. Cheryl, no one's seen you in town in years. Don't worry about me. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So Cheryl just stays at the house every day, all day. I'm having a baby. Yeah, that. I'd heard that, yes. Congratulations. Out and open with my family. 
We've talked about you. I think that they'd approve of us being together. I'm so happy to hear that. You think you're cursed. Beloved TT. Is she like not allowed to leave the premise? Are you Sarah Winchester came from a family of rifle makers. First, by the deaths brought on by their family's stock and trade, she started to build a house as long as it remained under constant construction. The curse couldn't consume her. Is that actually true? Because crazy things have happened with the Blossom family, so maybe it's true and then I shouldn't be giving Cheryl so much crap. You deserve to be happy. So she doesn't want to be with Tony because she thinks that she's going to gonna drag Tony into the curse. She just painted me for 12 hours and when she was done, I left. And a week later, a package hours. showed up in the mail. Guess she didn't want it. Well done, my dear. Perfect copy. Aww. You've learned well. I could each have one. Now. I'm crashing at the El Royale since my mom's renting out her house. Right. What? Archie? Tony. I figured like a steel dome. gate would be enough to keep this gym intact, but this place is like a war zone. Well, wait till you see the rest of the town. Aram Lodge. Bingo. And not only is the fire department gone, but the sheriff's office is now down to one man. Whoever could afford to leave is long gone. Only the people who are too poor or too proud to move on are still here. And those dogs are everywhere. Packs of them. Some are rabid. God. Buses don't pass by here anymore. Hmm. Sometimes my trucks do, but only if they have to, and rarely at night. What does Hiram Lodge have to gain? I don't get it. So where the hell is came back quite this? This isn't Sodale proper. This is where Hiram's building a turnpike. He's strangling Riverdale to boost Sodale. The Ghoulies moved into my house. So you want to go in there and knock some heads? Can we go back to Pops and see if any of them actually came? Okay. Oh, I missed you. Say, you I missed all of you. Veronica, Betty, Jacket. I know I called you here for Pop's retirement party, but... He deserves it. And we might be the only ones who can save it. I'll give you more shifts if it would help. I appreciate that, Tabitha, but... Riverdale is done with me. Her name is Lynette Fields. She's squeaky, I don't feel she good about She came to Riverdale two years ago for a fresh start that never happened. Trash bag killer. Unfortunately for Lynette, she'll never make it to California. It's gotta be the trash bag killer. That look that Betty and Jughead gave each other, it looked like they wanted to burn each other with their eyes. Oh my gosh, that broke my heart. That makes me so sad. That broke my heart. Oh, so Pop is okay. He's just retiring. Everything's okay. Hopefully retiring with a lot of money. It is well deserved. Pop deserves to go on and live his life the way he wants, which has always been running Pops because he loves Pops, but he deserves to retire and take a break. Squeaky, this is clearly the mystery that's going to bring them all together and tie them in. The ghoulies stole Archie's house? Well, they didn't steal, but they took over Archie's house and destroyed it. I think Betty is going to be 100% on board with trying to help Riverdale. Veronica, I think, is going to go along with it because Betty and Archie want to. And Jughead, I think, is going to be the one that involves the most convincing which is ironic because I feel like he would be the one that would 100% jump in. But the way he's been and how he's looking and sounding, I don't know. I think he's going to need a little bit of convincing. I think he's going to want to get out of there and get away from everything. What happened to Jellybean and his dad? And, and they never said anything about that. What about Betty's mom? Where is she? We have to catch up with her and Archie's mom, too. Oh my gosh, this was such a good episode, though. It was a very good little recap of all of our characters, everybody we need to know, even Kevin. I love Kevin. We got to know about Kevin and what he was doing and where he was. And oh, and they're still together. They stayed together. I love that. I love that. But oh, my main questions right now are, who is the father of TT's baby and how did that happen? Is Jughead going to stay? How is that going to work? And I think the guy at the end, I think they're alluding to that being the trash bag killer. I think he is either following Betty because Betty is the one girl that got away from him 
or uh, I don't know, but I think he is the trash bag killer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so good. I'm so excited. I'm gonna edit this up, get it out, and then I'll watch the promo and we'll dissect it kind of like we did last time. I'm so excited. Everyone throw a like up on this video if you like what you saw. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite flash forward. Was it Veronica's situation, Betty's situation, Jughead's situation, or RG's situation? And what do you think about Cheryl and TT? What do you think about Choni? Because my heart is still ripped out about it. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And I wish there was more. I didn't want it to be over. <laughs> so long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.